Hey everybody and welcome to the deep dive. We're diving into how to make money on YouTube. That's right, straight from successful YouTubers themselves. We've got some awesome intel folks and these creators are sharing their secrets. Yeah, so many creators out there think you gotta wait for the partner program or something, but we're talking multiple ways to make money. Yeah. And some of them you can start using right away. Like from day one. Even with zero subscribers. Exactly. One of our sources, this guy Dave Nick, says you can actually- you know, Dave is awesome. He said you can actually start seeing cash flow like right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's not some like magic, you know, go viral overnight kind of thing. Yeah. It's more about using what's already out there. Exactly. It's about leveraging those systems, those existing systems that are already making people money. Right. And another creator we looked at, this guy, Yuri Van Hofwegen. Yuri love his stuff. Yeah. He breaks down this whole strategy he calls HPCP. It stands for High Payout Commission Products. Oh, yes. HPCP. So basically, and that's key right there, high payout commission products. Yeah, it's about finding those products with, you know, with amazing affiliate programs where you can actually weave those into your content mm -hmm. and earn a cut of every sale that you, exactly. that you make. It's brilliant. So you're making money before you even hit like that thousand subscriber mark or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like this hidden income stream. Most then, people don't even know exists. Yeah, most people don't realize it's out there. It's crazy. And yeah. this isn't just some like, you know, small time tactic. Oh, no, no. We're totally. talking even big creators mm -hmm. like uh, Eric Conover. Love Eric. Yeah, he's huge. And he's making more money from stuff like online courses oh, yeah. than he is just from ad revenue on his videos. It's true. It's wild. And Dave Nick, he gave this great example of a faceless channel that he started. Oh, yeah. And it was already making over $4,000 a month. Wow. Just from affiliate marketing. Just from that. Incredible. It's amazing. See, that's the beauty of affiliate marketing. You don't even have to show your face if you don't want to. You don't. You can just put the content out there and let it do the work for you. It's amazing. Now, if you want to learn more about this whole affiliate marketing thing, our friend Brian Garvin has an incredible free guide. Oh, Brian's the best. He really is. He breaks down the entire process step by step in this guide. It's fantastic. Yeah, and it's totally free, folks. You got to check it out. Absolutely. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Wow. Over 12,300 words of pure gold. You can't beat that. You can't. You can find the link for that in our show notes. Just head over to briangarbon.com, that's Brian with an I, right. and submit your name and email, click the verification link, and boom, you're in. It's that easy. It really is. But hold on, because Dave, Nick actually drops this pretty controversial tip. Oh, really? I'm all ears. He says you should think about buying already monetized channels. Buying? Hmm. Yeah, from a site called viovidave.com. That's a new one. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of crazy, right? Yeah. A little bit outside the box, for sure. But on one hand, you're totally bypassing all that time it takes to get monetized. That's true. You're jumping right into the game. Yeah. But then it raises some questions, you know, like, what about the authenticity? Right. Are you really building an audience or are you just buying numbers? It all comes down to what kind of creator you want to be. Right? Exactly. Do you want to do the quick cash grab or do you want to build something that's... Sustainable, long-term. Yeah, long-term and... Authentic. <laughs> Yes. Speaking of new approaches, we've got a source who is all about YouTube shorts and AI. Oh, yeah. This guy, Make Money Matt, his YouTube handle is literally Make Money Matt. No way. I kid you not. That's awesome. He's all about what he calls the SaaS or the shorts AI system. SaaS, like the software company? Haha, <laughs> not quite, but just as powerful in a different way. I like it. He's talking about using AI to create and optimize your shorts which is a whole other ball game when it comes to making money on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so is this where that making money from day one thing comes in? You got it. All right. Well, the CPM, you know the money you make per thousand views, it's usually lower for shorts. Right. The potential for them to blow up yeah. and go viral is huge. Way more views. So you make it up in volume. Exactly. I see. And get this, Matt has a student who's making thousands of dollars a month wow. from shorts alone. That's amazing. Just from shorts, proof that it's a viable strategy. Wow. And he takes it even further. He's got this AI tool called vid.ai. Okay. And it actually writes and edits your shorts for you. Whoa, wait a minute. 
It's like having a whole production team. A virtual production team. Exactly. That's pretty wild. It is, right. But then doesn't that make you wonder if AI is just going to take over YouTube completely? It's a valid question, for sure. Like, will all the content start to feel the same, you know? Like, yeah. Like, lacking that human element? Definitely raises some ethical considerations about what it means to be a creator in this age of, you know, yeah. AI and all that. The AI creator. It's a brave new world out there. It really is. But let's not forget about the good old YouTube partner program. Right. The OG way to make money. The classic. Yeah. We've got vidIQ breaking down all the latest requirements. Which can be super confusing. Yeah. The YPP has gotten more complex for sure. Yeah. But vidIQ does a great job of explaining everything, like your subscriber count, the watch time you need. Right. And even shorts views can now be a path to eligibility. Oh, interesting. They also debunk some common myths out there. Okay, like what? Like, just because you hit those requirements, it doesn't guarantee you'll be accepted. Oh, right. And what about inactive channels? Yeah. Can you lose your monetization status? That's a good question. These are all important questions that creators need answers to. Absolutely. And Luckily, we've got them right here. We do, but let's say you jump through all the hoops. You're in the YouTube partner program. You made it. You're in. You're in. How does the money actually start coming in? Yeah, how does it work? Like, does YouTube just deposit cash into your account? I wish it were that easy. Right. No, there's a whole system behind it. I figured. We're talking ad CPMs, how much YouTube takes from your revenue. Right. And then there's super chat, super thanks, channel memberships. Oh, right, right. All those things play into your earnings as well. Okay. And transparency is key here. You got to understand the difference between RPM. RPM. That's revenue per thousand views. Got it. Versus your actual take home pay. Right. There's a difference. Big difference. Yeah. And then, of course, how YouTube actually pays you. Oh, yeah. And the wonderful world of tax. Oh, but he likes that part. Nobody likes taxes. Right. But it's important to know about it. Absolutely. So, speaking of getting those views, yes. Yuri Van Hofwagen, the HBCP master. Our guy. Yeah. He spills his secrets on how to get your videos rank high. Oh, yeah. This is good stuff. Because getting those views is, you know, half the battle, right? Absolutely. He's all about finding those keywords. Keywords, yeah. That have low competition but high search volume. So people are actually searching for that stuff. Exactly. But not a ton of other creators are making content about it. It's like the sweet spot, you know? It's like finding their perfect niche. Exactly. Awesome. So it's not just about making great videos. No. It's about making sure people can actually find those videos. Oh, yeah, you, you've got to make sure your content is aligned with what people are actually looking for. Makes sense. And I think this is a good place to take a break. All right. Sounds good. We'll be back in a minute, folks. Don't go anywhere. To continue our deep dive. Into YouTube monetization. Stay tuned. So we're back, folks, and we're continuing our deep dive into making money on YouTube. That's right. And we're going to get into some of the nitty gritty. Yeah, we talked about different ways to make money, but now it's time to get into. Go to get those views. Yeah, how to actually get your videos seen and make them stand out. Exactly. And Yuri Van Hofwagen, he really goes deep into video SEO. Video SEO. Sounds technical, but it's all about making sure your videos are easy to find. Right, so people can actually discover them. Exactly. He talks about finding those golden keywords. Keywords, yeah. <laughs> I've always wondered how YouTubers figure out right. what yeah. people are actually searching for. It's like they have some secret knowledge. Yeah, it's magic. Well, Yuri uses this tool called vidIQ. vidIQ. Oh, helps right. you analyze keywords, research your competition. So you can see what's working for other people. Exactly. Even yeah. track historical data. Oh, wow. It's like having a secret weapon for understanding YouTube. That's pretty cool. It is. It's all about understanding the platform. So it's not just about creating great content. No, not at all. It's about making sure that content is actually aligned yes. with what people are searching for. You got it. And once you have those keywords, right. you got to have a compelling title and description. Oh, yeah, that's important. It's got to entice people to click. Makes sense. Use your keywords naturally, but also make it sound interesting. It's a bit of an art form. It is. And don't forget about tags. Oh, yeah. Tags. Yuri uses a site called rapidtags.io. Rapid tags. Okay. It helps you generate relevant tags for your videos. So YouTube understands what your video is about. Exactly. It's all about giving YouTube the right signals. It's like those little labels on the back of products. Yeah, exactly. That tell you what's inside. Right. And Yuri makes a really important point. Okay. All the SEO tricks in the world won't matter if you're promoting bad products. Oh, right. Like if you're doing affiliate marketing. Exactly. You got to choose high quality products, stuff you actually believe in. That makes sense. You want to build trust with your audience. Not lose it by recommending junk. Exactly. So authenticity is key. Always. 
Okay, let's talk about YouTube Shorts. Oh yeah, the rock stars of YouTube right now. They are everywhere. Everywhere. So, make money, Matt. He breaks down how to use AI to create these shorts. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That can potentially go viral. Okay, and bring in some serious cash. That's the goal. Right. That's the goal. Matt actually has his own AI software. Oh, really? Called vid.ai. Vid.ai. I have to check that out. It's pretty amazing. It can generate complete shorts for you. Complete shorts. Whoa. From the script to the visuals. So we're talking choosing a topic. Yes. Selecting a voice, music, effects. All of it. All with AI. It's like having a virtual production team at your fingertips. That's insane. It is. It's really mind-blowing. But doesn't that make you worry that everyone's content is going to look the same? Yeah, that's a valid concern for sure. Like if everyone's using the same AI, mm. it all starts to feel kind of, you know. Generic. Yeah. But Matt stresses that AI should be a tool. A tool, okay. To enhance our creativity. Right, not replace it. Exactly. It's about finding new and innovative ways to use this technology. To make our content even better. Exactly. And speaking of making money from shorts. Yes, how do we actually do it? Well, YouTube has a specific program for shorts monetization. Right. We talked about the CPM being lower, mm -hmm. but the potential for views is much higher. Exactly. Matt shares some pretty mind-blowing examples. Like what? Creators making thousands of dollars a month. Really? From shorts alone. Just from shorts. It's a viable strategy. So even if my main focus is on longer videos. Yes. I can still use shorts to kind of drive traffic to them. Absolutely. It's a fantastic strategy. That's clever. Well, I like it. You can create little snippets that tease your longer content. And get people interested. Exactly. So it's a win-win. It is. But I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? You're thinking, can I just steal content from other creators for my shorts? Well, I wasn't going to say steal, but... Re-upload, repurpose, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Is that allowed? Big no-no. Okay. Matt is very clear about creating your own original content. Right. You can't just get away with... Stealing. Deal <laughs> YouTube's algorithms are too smart for that they'll catch you they will so no shortcuts to success nope it's all about the long game building something sustainable okay and that brings us back to the youtube partner program the ypp the og way to make money vidiq gives us a really great breakdown of it they cover everything the requirements how to apply yeah it can be a bit overwhelming it can but vidiq makes it easy to understand Okay, so they talk about the subscriber count, watch time. All of that. And they emphasize the importance of following YouTube's guidelines. Guidelines, right? Like no swearing or inappropriate content. Exactly. Your channel needs to be advertiser friendly. If you want to make money. Of course. And even if you meet all the requirements. Right. VidIQ says acceptance into the YPP isn't guaranteed. So there's still an application process. Mm -hmm. YouTube actually reviews your channel. Makes sense. They want to make sure it's up to their standards. Exactly. Okay, but what happens if you're in the YPP and then you fall below those requirements? Good question. Like, can you lose your monetization? VidIQ says if your channel is inactive. Inactive, like you haven't uploaded in a while. Yeah, like six months or more. YouTube can remove you from the program. So you got to stay active. Consistency is key. It's not enough to just get in. No, you got to keep creating. Right. So speaking of making money through the YPP. Yes, there are a few different ways to do right, it. Right, we talked about ads, but there's also... Super chat, super thanks, channel memberships. Oh yeah, those are cool. Those are always for viewers to directly support creators. I love that. Yeah, it's a great way to build community. Okay, and then there's the classic ad revenue. The bread and butter for many YouTubers. VidIQ explains how those ads work, the CPM, how YouTube takes a cut. All the financial details. And they talk about RPM too. Revenue per thousand views. Which is different from CPM. Yes, it's a more accurate reflection of your actual earnings. Okay, good to know. And of course, we can't forget about taxes. Oh, the dreaded taxes. So you gotta do your research. Yeah. And understand the implications of making money on YouTube. All right, so let's circle back to shorts. Okay. We talked about the monetization program. But how much can you realistically earn from them? Well, vidIQ says the ad revenue is still relatively low compared to longer videos. Okay. But it's a rapidly growing area. So the potential is there. Absolutely. And even small amounts can add up over time. Especially if you're consistent. Exactly. And don't forget about the indirect benefits. Like what? Increased visibility, driving traffic to your other content. Right. It's all connected. It is. But I know what you're thinking again. What am I thinking this time? You're thinking, is it really all sunshine and rainbows? Well, it does seem a little too good to be true sometimes. 
Right. Like those perfect YouTube channels. Yeah. Perfectly curated. Everything's amazing. But there are challenges. I figured. VidIQ talks about copyright claims. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. If you use music or footage you don't have the rights to. You can get in trouble. Your video could be demonetized or even get a strike. So you got to be careful. Absolutely. Use royalty-free music, get permission, double-check everything. Good advice. And they also mention YouTube's support system. Oh, yeah. It can be frustrating to deal with. I've heard that. It can be like pulling teeth sometimes. Yeah, trying to get answers. That they encourage creators to be persistent. So don't give up. Exactly. Use the resources available, the help center, online forums. Right, and remember, YouTube is always changing. Always evolving. So got to stay up to date. Absolutely. Keep learning. Keep adapting. Okay, so we've covered a lot. A whirlwind tour of YouTube monetization. We talked about affiliate marketing, the yep. awesome shorts, the YPP. All the different paths to success. And the challenges and the myths. We busted those myths. It's been a deep dive for sure. It has. And it's clear that YouTube offers so many possibilities. It really does, no matter what kind of creator you are. Exactly. And that brings us to something crucial. Okay, what's that? Content creation. All right, so we've talked about all the technical stuff, the algorithms, the monetization. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the content. Right. You could have the best SEO, the best strategies. But if your videos are boring, nobody's going to watch. Nobody's going to watch. So it's all about creating content that people actually want to see. Right. Content that resonates, that keeps them coming back. That's the foundation of a successful channel. So how do we crack the code? How do we make awesome content? Where do we even begin? Well, Make Money Matt, our shorts expert. Yeah. He's got some great advice. Okay. He says you got to understand your audience. Your target audience. <laughs> Who are they? What do they like? What problems are they trying to solve? Right. It's all about finding your niche. Exactly. Figuring out what you're passionate about and what value you can offer. And then, of course, for shorts, you got to make them visually appealing. Oh, yeah. You got to grab their attention. Right. Because you've only got a few seconds. Scrolling through that feed, you got to hook them. So, eye catching visuals, quick cuts. Text overlays, sound effects, make it pop. Make it pop, and don't be afraid to experiment. Try different things. Vlogs, tutorials, comedy sketches. Whatever fits your style. Exactly, and see what works. Right, test it out. There's no magic formula. No magic formula, but one thing that is important is consistency. Oh, yeah. Consistency is key. Whether it's shorts or longer videos. Upload regularly. Build that momentum. The more you create, the more visible you become. And it's not just about the upload schedule. Right. It's about having a consistent brand. Yes, a consistent style, tone of voice, visual aesthetic. So people recognize you. It builds trust and familiarity. Okay, so we've talked about the good stuff, mm -hmm. but content creation isn't always easy. No, it can be challenging. What are some of the challenges? Well, coming up with new ideas can be tough. Oh, yeah. Creator's block. It happens to everyone. Staring at a blank screen. The worst. So how do you overcome that? Matt says brainstorm with others. Get inspiration from your own life. Oh, that's a good idea. Stay up to date on trends. Repurpose old content. Get creative. Exactly. And then there's the negativity. Oh, yeah. The internet can be a tough place. It can. You got to have a thick skin. Easier said than done. It is. But focus on the positive feedback. Right. And use the constructive criticism to improve. Learn and grow. It's a balance. Finding that balance between being open to feedback, but also staying true to your vision. All right, so we've reached the end of our deep dive. It's been a journey. We've explored so much. The affiliate marketing, AI shorts, the YPP. The challenges, the possibilities. We've covered it all. But before we go, let's talk about your WHY. Ah, uh, yes, the W-H-Y. Why do you want to create on YouTube? What's your passion, your message? These are big questions. They are, but they're important. Because it's that passion that's going to keep you going. When things get tough. That's what's going to fuel your creativity. And connect with your audience. So remember your W-H-Y. Keep it close to your heart. Let it guide you. Inspire you. And lead you to success. And remember, the journey of a thousand views. Begins with a single upload. So get out there, create something amazing. Share your passion with the world. And maybe one day, we'll be featuring you on the deep dive. Until next time, keep learning. Keep creating. And keep diving deep.